Hi there! So you've just booked your beautiful tropical vacation. You've probably chosen an amazing place with white sand and clear blue water and are already aware of the unique plants and animals on the island. But what about underwater? Many of the tropical islands we visit have a foundation built by coral, and others of a more volcanic origin have surrounding or fringed coral reefs. But what is coral? Coral is an animal that builds a skeleton out of calcium carbonate, which houses little individual polyps that make up the whole animal. There are hundreds of different coral species, and each has their own unique polyp and skeletal structure. Now let's get a little more technical. Many of the species that make up the majority of coral reefs rely on the sun to gain food from algal cells within their bodies, and therefore thrive in the clear waters around these islands. The coral polyps themselves also take in nutrients out of the water by catching planktonic particles with their stinging tentacles, much like that of a jellyfish. Together, all of these individual polyps help the animal grow and build the foundation of the reef. So why are coral reefs so important? Coral reefs provide habitat for hundreds of species of fish and invertebrates. They're an extremely important ecosystem for species diversity, meaning that without the coral, many of the reef inhabitants would not exist as we know them today. This is why they're an extraordinarily important place to protect. There are some governmental regulations in different countries concerning the commercial use of reefs, but often these regulations are not enforced well enough, which leads to damaged reefs. That's why, before you jet off on that incredible island vacation, to snorkel and see these fragile ecosystems, it's important that you first know how you can protect them. Having heard about the majesty of the coral reefs, you probably want to see them for yourself. If it's your first time snorkeling or free diving in the ocean, there are some ways that you and your friends can have an amazing time and enjoy the wildlife without disturbing it. Here are some of my tips for you to be an ally of the reefs. First off, if you're unsure in the ocean, maybe this is your first time snorkeling, make sure that you familiarize yourself with your gear. Make sure that your mask and fins fit correctly and aren't uncomfortable. You can make sure that your mask fits correctly by pressing it up against your face, sucking in air through your nose, and letting go with your hand. And if it doesn't fall off and it feels comfortable, then it fits correctly. This will automatically make your experience more enjoyable and will keep you from fiddling with it while swimming, which could potentially bump a coral and therefore damage the reef. Second, when snorkeling on the reef, keep your body parallel with the sea floor. In other words, don't tread water like you would in a pool straight up and down, because your fins will likely pick up sand or you could unknowingly kick a coral. Since corals take many years to grow, damaging them is a big problem. Keep your body floating at the top, and if you need to adjust your mask, swim out of the way of most of the coral so as not to kick it. I've snorkeled in many places where I've seen people kick coral with their fins, and it's something that could easily be avoided by familiarizing yourself with your gear and knowing your swimming ability. Third is sunscreen. Sunscreen's something that we all use. I'm very pale, so I tend to use a lot of it. If you're applying sunscreen, make sure that you apply it well ahead of the time that you're going to be snorkeling on a reef. Many of the chemicals found in sunscreen can be toxic to corals. When you apply sunscreen too close to swimming, it'll come off and leak into the water, and you'll probably get sunburnt as well. A good way to avoid this toxic problem altogether is to buy reef-safe sunscreen. Many organic sunscreen brands are reef-safe, but if you're wondering, it usually says somewhere on the label whether or not it is reef-safe. Fourth is to leave everything as you found it. Don't take anything from the reef. Every part of the reef is a part of the ecosystem, and I want to encourage you to make an effort to be as low impact on the earth as possible. And part of being a good global citizen is leaving everything just as it was. Conservation can sometimes be a divisive topic. If you're new here, I've talked a lot about conservation. If you've been around for a while, you've heard me talk a lot about conservation. In the face of big problems in the world today, it may seem like you as an individual have no impact, positive or negative, on these problems. I'm here to tell you that that simply isn't true. There are a thousand different ways that you as an individual can help the planet and let the things outlined in this video be a first step for you helping the planet. Even if you're not jetting off to a tropical island tomorrow, just being aware that these ecosystems exist is a step towards helping preserve them.
Thank you so much for watching and think of me on your next island getaway. Or take me too, that would be very cool. <laughs> Thank you.